good day to you, and welcome to Fan Channel. I have had some recording issues that prolonged the creation of this video. Quite some time has passed since I last experimented with any of the research chemicals. It's been approximately three months or so. Since it had been a few weeks without any trips at all, I decided to try and use up what I had left of the 4-H-O-M-E-T. What ended up happening was far beyond what I expected. If you are interested in more trip reports like this one, tap or click the subscribe button for more. It was a Sunday afternoon a few weeks ago, and I had already accomplished what I needed to get done for the weekend. I had also been fasting from the evening before and was starting to get hungry. I didn't want the food diluting the absorption of the 4-H-O-M-E-T, so I just drank tea before taking the dumps. There was 150 milligrams left in the baggie, and I thought I was going to take all of it. I had previously tripped on 100 milligrams, and it was an awesome experience, so I thought I could handle a little more. I cautiously decided to start with 100 milligrams, and then take the additional 50 milligrams an hour or so later. The come up was certainly faster than the first time I tried 4 h -E This didn't really catch my attention at all, because I had been dancing for a little while. By the hour mark, I begin taking voice notes and state how quickly the euphoria is hitting me. I still sound overly confident and say in the recording that I am planning on dropping the other 50 milligrams. Little did I know that soon I would be contemplating on why I took the H-O-M-E-T at all that day. Half an hour later, I start seeing the energy in the room. As I look around, Everything appears more vibrant and significant. Colors saturate deeply, and the edges of objects more defined. The room has life to it, but there is nothing moving. I begin to feel some anxiety as to what might happen, and debate taking the next 50 milligrams. I decide not to, and it is the right choice. As I described in my first 4 h -O -M -E -T report, I found that 10 milligrams of the substance was approximately equal to 1 to 1.5 grams of magic mushrooms. In my opinion, that comparison still stands. This was starting to feel like a high-dose mushroom trip, and not like the first time I had taken the same 100 milligram amount. The two major differences being I had not tripped for a few weeks, and I had been fasting. This was making the trip more than what I was looking for on a Sunday afternoon. It is only 15 minutes after I decided not to take any more that the visuals begin to take on a different type of effect. At first, there is a lot of tracing going on. Everything has a slight shifting motion, and begins appearing as if it was painted. There seems to be something behind me, like a tree swaying slowly in the wind, casting a faint shadow in front of me. It is a strange effect I have not had before. I head into my bedroom to make another audio recording to describe what is happening. While I am recording, I have the most amazing open eye hallucination. I ever had in my life. This is part of that recording. I will keep it brief because of the low quality and distortion. Yeah, I'm really high right now. And right now in my room, I'm starting, I'm starting to get like a, a geometric overlay. Uh, fuck me, I've never had this happen before in my life. You know, this must be this fucking smoke in the room or something. Uh, I don't know if this is some kind of, uh... Okay, it's definitely part of the trip. It's not smoke. Yeah, I just need to, uh... 
accept what's happening. Maybe, uh, maybe get out into the sunlight here for a second. Wow. Uh, because I'm kind of being surrounded by, like, this geometric overlaid pattern on top of everything. It's really, uh, opaque and very light, very smoky. as I was seeing faint shadows form on the walls and floor. Those shadows organized into an opaque, slow-moving geometric pattern that laid on top of everything. The pattern moved around as if it had life. While I stared at this pattern, it slowly lifted off of everything it was laying on top of, up into the air. This was alarming to a degree because it appeared to me to be smoke. As I gazed around at the smoke gazing around me, I started to actually think that something might be on fire. I waved my hand through the air and the smoke did not react. That's when I realized I must accept what is happening. It is a completely unexpected hallucination and it made me nervous that I was having such a different reaction than I have had before. I got up and left the room with some nervousness in my step. Food came to mind at this point to try and offset the trip from getting too far out there. I ate a nectarine to bring up my sugar levels. It's shortly after this that my mind begins to wander and distort. To prevent it from becoming too dark, I head into the bathroom to lower the amount of visual stimuli. I am quite sedated and become unable to do much of anything. The trip has fully taken me over and I struggle to maintain composure. I try eating some granola and as soon as I put it into my mouth, it is like eating sandpaper. My sensory perception was completely fucked up. I drank some water, and it was like an ocean had been poured into my mouth. Then, in that ocean, I could feel hundreds of tiny little particles of granola on my tongue. My mind started playing serious tricks on itself, and I second-guessed that the little pieces of granola were in fact not real that I was imagining them. This prompted me to try and get a piece to the edge of my tongue so I could physically grab it for visual inspection. After what seemed to be an endless debate with myself, I concluded that the granola pieces were real and that my sensory perception was doing something strange. That was not easy to do in this state. I wasn't sure what was real at this point but I knew that I needed to stay where I was in order to protect myself. This was no joke. I had taken too much. My mind was deepening into a psychosis state of repetitive arguments. Like, why was the trip so intense? Why had I taken this drug today? Had I really overdone it this time? You know, that sort of thing that strange people be doing on a Sunday. To help break up the constant confusion, I played a lecture by Alan Watts. I couldn't understand a fucking thing that he was talking about, but the sound of his voice was a reassurance that things were going to be normal again. His voice echoed in the recording at one point, and it really tripped me out. I thought, what the fuck are my ears doing now? And had to double check that the recording actually had the echo. Which it did. So then the teacher replies to this problem. So then the teacher by saying to this problem. The second guessing of everything was just out of control. Time was at such a loss that I started checking it often to try and gauge when the trip might end. It was just too difficult to evaluate 
any other way. Within that hour, I slowly started to gain control again. I could tell that I was coming down from it, and that was a sigh of relief I remember very well. To have witnessed such extremely realistic visuals while fully coherent was mind-blowing to say the least. I have had some wild hallucinations in the past. They were in the dark of night, outside, and at far distances. Like tactical SWAT teams on rooftops and shit like that. Having smoke haze right in front of my eyes that I could not wave with my hand was trippy as fuck. The sensor collapse with the granola, I've never really felt something like that with any drug before. Almost a cross-sensory type of feeling. It was so fucking strange, I couldn't describe what happened 100%. Some sort of illusion my mind was playing with my senses. This 4-HOMET trip caught me by surprise. It was stupid of me to underestimate the power of the psychedelic, but I have a powerful mind that luckily counters some of these bad choices. After doing some more research, I have found that 25 milligrams is considered a dosage. 100 milligrams is too much, and although it is much like a high-dose mushroom trip, there is no lesson during the trip. Although they are chemically similar, 4-HLMET is not a teacher like psilocybin is, in my opinion. I still suggest these research chemicals are on a scale between shrooms and LSD. They are very interesting, and so very different. Even telling myself I would throw away the rest of the 4-HO during the trip, Afterwards, I know that there will be a time to try it again. Psychedelics are strange like that. They call you when the time is right. My dose recommendations would be 20 milligrams for someone new, and 50 milligrams for someone looking for a bigger trip. I still have 50 milligrams left, so I will report on that another time under similar circumstances. On another note, I have not dosed mushrooms since this 4-HLMET trip. It was just that mind-blowing. Until next time, please be safe and stay humble.